day everybody. Namaste. So we're going to be doing two more of our yoga poses. All from our yoga activity cards. Okay. We're going to do our candle pose and our plow pose. With our candle pose, if anybody that has been practicing with you suffers from any blood pressure or heart problems, maybe epilepsy or they have an ear or an eye problem, maybe they're not too good, their back, their shoulders or their neck, if that's the case they need to sit out on this one. But saying that, there's lots and lots of benefits to doing this pose. It tones and strengthens our spine, our neck and our shoulders. It's really, really good for our nervous system and for boosting our confidence. So we're going to give it a little try. Okay, make sure you've done your nice breaths and your stretches to warm up beforehand. Here we go, everybody. Going to lie on our back, our arms next to our side. You may wish to try it like this first, bringing your knees into your chest and then straightening up your legs. We're going to really point our toes like a flickering flame on a candle. And then we're going to bring our toes, say hello to our face. Hi! <laughs> well done. Do you notice how I've got my head, my shoulders, my back, my bottom, all on the floor? This is our candle pose. You may wish to bring your knees down and then outstretch your legs. You may wish to take your legs straight up. And straight down. Well done. That was a perfect candle pose. So now we're going to do our plow pose. And this has all of the same cautions as our candle pose. Just be careful of any spine, neck or shoulder problems. And if you have any blood pressure, heart problems, epilepsy, eye or ear problems, then sit this one out. But it's good fun and it really, really does benefit stretching our spine, making it nice and flexible. It's great for boosting our confidence. But remember, take it nice and easy because it may not work first time. I've been practicing for a long, long time. So you practice too. Here we go. I'm going to start off in my candle pose. I've got my arms right down next to my side so that I can use them to push my bottom up off the floor. Here we go everybody. Those legs are coming straight over, pointing towards the floor. You can use your hands to support your back and your hips if you wish. to our candle pose. Right to our face. Let's try it once more. You ready? Giving a nice push. Over we go. Remember, if you need that support, you can hold your hips here. Well done. And down we come. was great everybody. Well done. Always remember to practice and make sure to do those warm-ups before you start. Namaste everybody.